Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Blazing Trails Blog Videos. Thanks for joining me again today. I should have posted this video uh, oh, a week or two ago. I guess I've been kind of busy and kind of lazy. I'll, I'll use that as an excuse. Uh, there's been some changes. I had to evacuate uh, my spot in British Columbia because, uh, because of a forest fire that, uh, that blew up. It started out real small and they were just kind of monitoring it because they were using their resources uh, fighting bigger fires. But uh, they maybe, uh, they maybe regret that now because that fire blew right up and forced me right out of where I was camped. In fact, I just heard from my friend, the fire warden here um, yesterday, and the fire burnt right down to where I was camped, but like right up behind where I was camped. But my view, that beautiful view out in front, uh, as far as I can tell from him, is uh, undamaged. And the fire has swept around now and going up the Cochrane Creek uh, drainage. And it's still burning hard up there, and it's beautiful country up in there. Um, so anyway, I'm now staying in a little, uh, in a campground, which is really unusual for me. I never do that. I'm spoiling myself, but the rates here are really good. Um, uh, in uh, Winfield, Winfield, Alberta, which is uh, southwest of Edmonton, uh, uh, east of Buck Lake. A uh, little, little village, about less than 300 people, and a little, uh, little campground here run by the Lions Club, and... Uh, Pretty cost effective for me. I'm going to stay here till September 15th and then I'll be back at my friend's place uh, in the DeWinton area south of Calgary and I'll head back down to Arizona in about the third week in October. I'm including uh, some videos I took um, uh, before I evacuated British, my site in British Columbia showing the, the size of the fire and uh, the size of the flames. I know with this recent uh, very tragic uh, fire in Maui. Maybe you know people are probably tired of seeing uh, seeing videos of fires, but uh, I thought of it. I'd include them here, uh, so you could see what was going on and why I had to evacuate. And uh, I'm certainly glad I did. Now that I've uh, kind of learned how fast fire can move uh, from that uh, Maui tragedy. And uh, at the very end of the uh, the, the uh, fire clips, I'm going to include a couple other ki uh, clips of. Uh, about a week before I evacuated, it was really hot, and I went to a waterfall area down on the Albert River and uh, and uh, sat with my lawn chair there for a little bit, and I took a little bit of video that's pretty pretty, pretty uh, beautiful, and I, I think you'll enjoy that. Anyway, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be here for a month, right? So I'm thinking of taking a drive down uh, to the Nordegg area, which is uh, west of Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, uh, around the Abraham Lake area. There's uh, off-grid free camping there, and um, um, people here have been telling me I need to check that out. So I think I'm going to do that and probably take some video. And uh, So stay tuned to the channel, and, uh, and uh, I'll uh, see if I can post something here in the next little while. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Check this out, you guys. I knew there was a fire up above me. I had hoped it had gone out, but... It hasn't. So I'm down in there, so it's not super close, but close enough. Hey, you guys. So I was sitting back at the motorhome, and for a couple of weeks now, I've known there's a forest fire on the mountain above me, up high. And I suddenly realized today that, hey, I can come up the Cochrane Creek uh, drainage and uh, climb a pretty high mountain and maybe get a look at this fire. Now, we're behind the fire here, east of the fire. But it's just over that ridge, man. Every uh, few minutes you can see a big belch of uh, smoke come up over the ridge there. So, anyway. I was right, you know, I mean, I come up here and I, you can see the smoke hanging in the valley there, over there, and, uh, but, uh, no flames, but, well, that I can see, obviously there's flames over there, but, uh, there she is, and I'm camped kind of just on the other side of this mountain there that I'm showing you there, down on the bottom, of course, and this is quite up, quite high here. Hey you guys, I was a little worried about this, but there's been a small forest fire on the mountain above me for a couple weeks now. They were just monitoring it, but suddenly today it's it's blowing up. My firewood and friend came by and uh, pointed it out to me. 
crap. I was on a climbing a mountain over behind it the other day to have a look at it. And I could see the smoke, but it sure wasn't anything like that. So I'm going to go across to my camera mountain and uh, go up high there and see if I get a better look at it. And then uh, uh, I don't really want to move, but I don't want to be stupid either. I'll move if I have to. Anyway, I'll be filming this. Holy crap, you guys. This fire got big in a hurry, and man, there's some big honking flames in there. Wow. But, I mean, it's... Damn, it's just not that close to me, really. Well... Hmm. I'll climb higher. So my coach is doing it. You can see it over there already, can't you? Alright, so there's my motor home over there. So it's not straight up above me, it's to the north a few kilometers. It's also jumped, you see that? It's uh there's a spot high up on the side of that mountain over there that's on fire as well. So maybe some sparks or something. But uh, if you look over there, it's, sometimes there's some big honking flames down. Rats. Yeah, there's a flame on it. You see it up there? Wow, look at the height of that. Holy crap. Wow. Let me, uh, I was re-aiming things there, sorry. never been this close to a big fire before. Some of the flames that you see over there, holy cow man. Tall, big, big flames. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should move. I'm sure there's people at the other end of listening to this saying, yeah, you gotta move. Crap. It's just not, I would have time, I mean, hmm, bummer. See those flames, you guys? Holy crap. Hey you guys, I'm on the viewpoint and uh, just had to make a quick run into radium because I got to evacuate out of the valley. Look at that. Crazy, eh? Wow. So I'm camped down on the bottom of that mountain over there. So that's close enough for me. Pretty nice on a hot day, folks. I think I'm gonna go sit in the gravel over there. Sit in that little pool right there too. 
This water would be really cold, don't worry. Yep, here's my spot. Isn't that nice? I'm just gonna take my uh, my big boots off and put on these uh, imitation crocs and go walk in the water a little bit. And yeah, that water will be about as cold as it looks. Uh, anyway, talk to you in a bit.